Sometimes when you're working in Maya, you may have a complex model where you want to take a slice out of it or get the shape at a certain section. So I've got a gorilla skull here. Let's say I wanted to take a slice through one part of the skull here and generate a curve something like this. Now normally if you want to take a curve from uh, a polygon object, for example, like this sphere, um, you can just select an edge loop, so I just double clicked on one edge, and you can go to modify, convert, polygon edges to curve, and you can generate a curve from a polygon that way. However, in a case like this, where I've got this gorilla skull that's triangulated, I don't have quads, so if I select an edge and click there's no edge loop for it to follow because it doesn't know how to exit this triangle. So if we wanted to cut out a section and generate a shape like this, so you can see that's a section through part of the skull and through the orbits here, um, you could use booleans, I suppose. You could make a very thin uh, a cube or a, a prism shape that you could intersect with this. Booleans can be a little flaky, though. So let's look at another way of doing this. So let me just hide all of these things. So what we're going to do instead is just take a plane, so this is just a polygon plane, and I'm going to intersect it with the surface I have here. And we're going to use sort of a non-intuitive method for uh, tracking the point where these two surfaces intersect using the tune shader. So if I select this surface and shift select the skull here and go up to tune which is in your rendering menu set tune uh, assign outline add new tune outline you can see I've added a tune outline to both of these pieces of geometry the skull and this plane if we go into the the PFX tune shape here we can tell Maya to include intersection lines, and now we get a line that appears at the intersection of the skull and the plane. Now, of course, if I select this plane and move it, that intersection line will move too. So if we go back to the paint effects, I don't need to see anything other than the intersection line. So I can turn off crease lines, I can turn off open edge, so we get, there's no uh, nothing appearing where the plane ends. And then the profile line, so the profile is the perceived profile based on your point of view, so this will change as your camera angle changes. We can turn that off too. So we're left just with an intersection line here. So now we can use this to generate a curve. Now if you want to clean this up a little bit before you convert this paint effects into a curve, here in the paint, the PFX tune shape, you can go down to line resampling and click on resample intersection and it will just give you cleaner output. And you can probably change, nope, so it, this is just going to resample based on the intersection. And then finally, we can just go to modify, convert, um, paint effects to curves. And now you can see we've got a curve here. I'm going to delete its history. I'm going to freeze its transformations and center its pivot. I've got shortcuts for these, but these are under the edit and the modify menus. Now let me just grab this curve. And now we've got a nice representation of the intersection of these two objects. Now, if I want to turn this into geometry, we can go to our surfaces menu and use planar. And I'll just, first I'll put this as a NURB surface, planar trim. Now, if you don't, not familiar with NURBs, this is actually, the way that NURBs works is that it makes a four-sided patch. And then where this curve is, it uh, changes the opacity of that surface. So there's actually surface outside here. Let me just 
hide everything else. So there's actually a surface outside here, but it's just made invisible. Um, I don't end up using NURBS very much, so we can select this and convert it to polygons. So let me just turn off Isolate Select again. So I'll select the NURBS surface, go to uh, Modify, Convert, NURBS to Polygons, and I don't know, use General. So it makes kind of an ugly mesh here, but we can change the number of divisions in both directions. And we can change it to count if we want. And we can turn up the count to get a mesh that more closely matches the shape. I'm going to delete its history, freeze its transformations. Let me just move that out of the way. So by doing count, it doesn't adaptively um, make smaller polygons where the shape changes more quickly. So it's up to you, depending on what you need. So now we have a piece of geometry. I'm just going to reverse its normals. Mesh display reverse. And then we've got a nice piece of geometry that is the same shape, or at least close. It's a little... I should up the polygon count a little bit, uh, the same shape as the surface it intersected through. And now if we look at the UV editor, we also have nice clean um, UVs because uh, it's, they're taken from the NURBS, which has implicit UVs based on the uh, topology of the surface. So that's a kind of a non-intuitive way to do something like this, but it works quite well using uh, the Tune Shader Outline, Intersection, convert that paint effects to a curve, and then just use your normal curve generation tools from, sorry, your surface generation tools from curves to make something like this.